Good morning, Dr. Carter. How are you? Good morning. Good. Uh, today is uh, uh, September 25th, and it's about three months since we began the Phase 1 orthotic. Uh, tell me how you're doing. Uh, doing very well. The, with the orthotic, the job doesn't do any clicking or other strange stuff anymore. Uh -huh. uh, the headaches are doing quite a bit better yeah. and pretty much gone. And the neck is good when I remember to keep my posture doing nicely, but so it's doing well in general too. Okay, so the top three issues were uh, neck pain. Tell me about what those top issues were again. Yeah, the neck pain and headaches and then the jaw clicking and locking. Okay, okay. So if you can go ahead and demonstrate how we can open and close. Okay. No issues? Yeah, no okay. issues, no funny noises. Okay, if you can turn your head just slightly, you can swivel the uh, chair mm -hmm. and then uh, let me see you in profile if you would open and close. Okay. Go ahead, please. And close. Open. Mm -hmm. And close. No issues at all. All right, mm -hmm. turn around. And tell me on the, uh, you mentioned about the neck. Uh, that was the number one issue. How's it doing? Uh, it's doing quite a bit better. Um, it does better when I keep in mind keeping my posture better. I see. Sometimes I forget and get a little too hunched over, and that still can cause problems, but it's working on it, I'm sure. Working on it. Okay, and then the second one was headache? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, like temporal kind of headaches. Uh -huh. And those are doing a lot better, so okay. I'm not really having much trouble with those anymore. Do you have any at all, or do you have some? Um, very rare. Okay. So, some, but very rare. Okay, uh, and then the third one, of course, is the locking part. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, how about that one? What percentage of that is there? That's that's 100%. That's, Completely that's gone. That's fine, no and, problems okay. with that. Okay, and there was a minor issue overall with just doing the lower orthotic only, what is the level of uh, change that you have noticed in the 90 days? Um, well, overall I like it. It seems like everything feels like it fits better. Mm -hmm. So I've noticed that just when I'm shutting my mouth, it feels like everything fits better with the orthotic in. Feels, nor feels more comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Anything else to add? Um, no, overall it looks like it's going nicely. All right, thank you. Uh, third one is the uh, basically having to unlock the jaw to get it to open fully. I have to maneuver the jaw sideways to get each joint to pop yeah. and then I can open my mouth fully and I'd rather be able to just open my mouth fully without having yeah. to do anything special. Yeah, you, you uh, uh, shared with me, you figured it out, which is very perceptive of you. If you move to your right, the left joint unlocks, move to the left, mm -hmm. right joint unlocks, then you can open the rest of the way. Right. Tell me about that history. How long have you had the jaw locking issue? How many years? Um, the first time it locked was probably close to 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it yeah it locked, and it took me a while to figure out how to unlock it. Did you seek some help at the time? Um, no, I was actually in Ecuador on a medical missions trip, and there wasn't much in the way of help to seek. I understand. But I basically found that if I put a little pressure here and here, and distracted that side that would unlock it and it would lock very rarely initially so like once every several months or less and then gradually became more of a problem to where I had to start maneuvering it I'm not sure exactly when I but it's been at least probably eight years or something that I've been maneuvering the jaw to get it to open fully okay okay and then uh, you also mentioned if you uh, forget to do that, uh, something else happens. Yeah, if I don't maneuver the jaw and unlock the joints, then when I try to open the mouth fully, it will not open fully and makes a very unpleasant grinding noise in my ear, maybe mm -hmm. on the right, and then it hurts for a few days. Okay, all right. Um, so the uh, history there would be uh, over time it is just happening more frequently than now every time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else we should know about the jaw locking issue? one side more than the other or anything like that? Um, if I try to open it fully without unlocking it, it's the right side that stops it first. Mm -hmm. The left side's a little bit annoyed, but the right side is the one that gets really painful if I try to open it fully without unlocking it. Off the two, that's worse, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you also mentioned about how you figured out to use the hand and so on. Tell me when you have to do that. Um, I haven't had to do the manually unlocking it for a very long time because I've gotten good at moving it sideways and unlocking it that way. Okay. Um, and then, uh, then other times you had to actually get your hand and stretch and so on. 
Yeah. Okay. And that, that's mainly to help the, the temporal headaches. I oh, the, the stretching. I see. So tell me about that. Oh, you found out if you do some things with the jaw, it helps with the temporal headache? Yeah, with the temporal headache, the, it tends to feel like the muscles that close the jaw are very, very tight, and I can't get it open just using the muscles that normally open the jaw. I have to actually use my hands to make it gently force it open, and that seems to stretch the muscles and makes them feel better. I see. And how long ago uh, did you figure that out? And uh, you're correct. And uh, That's about six months. Okay. And how often do you have to do that? Um, about once a week when I have the more problematic headaches. Okay. And, and the five on a scale of ten. Yeah. All right. Anything else we should know about the headache issue or the joint issue? Um, not that I can think yeah. of at the moment. Anything else after that? Any other outcome besides the neck pain, headache, and jaw joint problems? Um, no. That's, that's what I'd like. To okay. Dr. Carter, uh, we just placed the orthotic for you. Go ahead and open your mouth wide a few times. Open again. And what do you notice? No popping. Okay. Earlier it required a lot of effort, I think, to, you know, you have devised a way to unlock one joint and the other. Uh, you're able to do it very easily just within literally a minute after it got done. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Any other notice? Anything else you notice? Um. It's easier to open it, it seems. Like easier I'll, opening? Yeah, and I don't have to move it side to side to get it to open. Yeah, you used to, you've, you've found an ingenious way to unlock it. Well, good. We don't have to have that. Thank you.